guys, Basio, Josh OP here. We got some things to talk about, some things to, to tell you yes, guys. Sir. Some big news, I think, right? Huge news. Um, if you guys have been following either one of us um, for any time, you probably, you know, have heard us talk about one another in some shape or form. We've both been inspired by each other. We both have, uh, I, I believe, motivated each other, pushed each other to, to push the boundaries, right? And since the beginning, since the first time we met in Russia, um, we've always kind of had a very synergistic relationship in a lot of what motivates us, but what we're trying to achieve in this industry. And um, we've both been growing. We, I think we've, we've both challenged the industry, but also elevated in some way, shape or form. Josh with his innovation and, and, his, and his cutting systems and how he's um, simplified and made what used to be, especially for me, if you guys could relate, uh, such a hard, um, such a hard technique and style of cutting to to understand and to achieve, and he simplified it so much. Um, I believe that's super innovative, and I believe he's a gift to this industry. Uh, <clears throat> um, and you know, with us at Two Forty Five, trying to do a lot of the same things within education and products as well. And the companies have done great, right? They've, mm -hmm. they've grown amazingly. Um, but we know we could do more. We know we can do more to elevate the industry. We know we can do more to 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 push the the entire industry as a whole by coming together. Hundred percent. I think that there's there's so much you can do on your own, but at the end of the day, we're stronger together. Everyone is stronger together. That's the whole thing. I think we're both trying to preach is that yeah. the industry is going to be stronger together as a whole. Yeah. And I think as two industry leaders. What way better to lead people than to show them coming together is stronger? Yeah, I mean, we preach we preach this idea of so much individualism in our industry where um, everybody's trying to get a piece of a pie that, in my eyes, is nowhere near the size it should be. No. Um, and so we've always had this mentality that instead of trying to carve out as much of a slice as possible, why not come together to build a bigger pie? Mm -hmm. And I think as as a whole that benefits everyone, yeah. right? And so I, I hope that what you guys see by us merging um, our companies together, um, what you see is that we're, we're practicing what we preach. Exactly. Uh, you know, and, and I'm super excited because mm -hmm. I think it's going to, the, what, what it can create the opportunities for people in the industry who want to grow as educators. Um, I think that's going to help so much. Um, yeah, you want to you make I mean, me my, our personal mission from our company at the start was has always been to help everyone we meet to see, feel, and harness their own value. And that's something that I've watched you do time and time again with people anyway. Mm -hmm. And I think that naturally as friends, but as businesses, the synergy has always been there and it's been growing closer and closer and closer and closer anyway, because a lot of our ecosystems are shared anyway. Like yeah. So many of my students are on your programs. Yeah. So many of your students are on our programs. Yeah. And we're helping that ecosystem. So what better way to do that than actually coming together, putting our minds together properly, rather than kind of running side by side like this. If we actually run together, we can be a, we can help so many more people to see and feel their value and to harness yeah. it and to use it and to know not only how to, I think a lot of in our industry from my standpoint and what we come into it with the sheer cutting side of it, a lot of the industry is trying to focus solely on just getting good at cutting hair. Right? And they're failing to understand how to build a career from that because they're so determined to do what, like all this difficult process. And it takes them so much time and effort to think about it. They can't scale that because it's not, you can't scale that into a time scale that fits into a barbershop. We've said it so many times that, that the, the industry at the moment, the only way people know to do shear cutting is cosmetology techniques. Yeah. Right? If you're going to do it precisely. Yeah. The reason no other way. And that's what we bring is so innovative because it brings that, that middle ground where you have the precision, but you can still do it in the barbershop in the time frame. Yeah. And then you put that together with your guys' business education yeah. and, and the, you guys, the innovation with the, I mean, these guys, the tools. They know how much I, I care about balance. Exactly. And, you know, you, we balance each other out. I think it's a very, very good way of putting it. I just got goosebumps. That was a great way of putting it. <laughs> well, we balance each other out, man. And I think with that balance, you see massive growth. Um, and so I think in the next few months, we have some amazing announcements yeah. to share with you guys. I think you guys will see the fruits of these, of these ideas that we have mm -hmm. of the, of this, of these principles that we have. And, um, you know, we're going to be releasing a lot of videos here in this, in this channel, 
um, the OP45 channel. We're super excited about that. In the beginning, we we have some pre-recorded content um, of some of our team members that we that we love wholeheartedly. They 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 bring something different to the table. Um, not all of them are going to be cutting hair like Josh. You, I think that the channel is going to prove you don't have to be the greatest hair cutter or do 15 different services on a client for two hours, mm -hmm. right? Or charge a million dollars for a haircut um, to be successful in this industry. We're gonna show you guys um, different types of barbers mm -hmm. using the same system. And I think that's what's gonna be super I exciting. This is what I've always said is the, the DFS formula, what we do is applicable to anybody, yeah. right? No matter what they wanna do, no matter whether they wanna be the barber who wants to do 30 haircuts a day, 40 haircuts a day, 10 haircuts a day, five haircuts a day. If they want to be an educator or a showcase and be sponsored, platform artists, whatever, whatever your dream is, the DFS formula is, is helping hundreds and hundred. It's helping tens of thousands of tens barbers. Of thousands, yeah. It's going to be hundreds of thousands of barbers. Yeah, it's yeah, helping yeah. tens of thousands of barbers to get better at what they want to do because that's the point of education. The edu education, it shouldn't be about you being like the educator. Yeah. You don't, you're not, you don't attend education to be the educator or to learn what they do. People always get this false perception that you go to learn what someone else does. You don't. You go to learn what you do better. Yeah. That's the point of learning. There's no point of learning how to do what someone else does. You want to learn what you've got to do so better true. to a higher level. Because the, 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 the other part of that like the reverse of that what you're saying where people go to learn something right it's just you create more chaos in your life yeah you create more chaos in the way you look mm -hmm. at hair cutting and you think you're growing but essentially you're, you're staying further away from where you are exactly. you're, you're still here yep. you've just got a different set of abilities that aren't even for what you're supposed to be doing yep and you got loads because i see this all the time with so many barbers right they go and they learn the precision cutting as we know it and as we originally taught it. But the no, I'd say 10% of barbers use it in the barber shop. Yeah. Like on a day to day scale, like every yeah. single haircut. Yeah. Right? So they're getting better at something that they can only do in front of other barbers. Yeah. yeah. But that's not what puts money in the bank yeah. for them. Yeah. Right? If that's what they do as equity and they want to be an educator in that realm, great, because that's what you're gonna, how you're going to get paid. But yeah. from the real reality is for 90% of barbers, they're not going to make it to be that crazy, like standout educator. Yeah. What put, like, they can do it, but it might not be every day. That might yeah. not be their full-time job. Most barbers are still going to be cutting behind the chair as their full-time job. Yeah. So why would we teach you something that you can't do that's going to actually put money in your pocket and help you day to day? Yeah. It's not scalable for you. Again, it's not about you just building a new set of ability. It's about you getting a bit more you as you are and getting this person to be leveraging up and elevating. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, guys, the scope of the channel pretty much looks like this. Um, you're going to see a lot of barbers who are growing. Mm -hmm. as part of the channel that are going to be uh, mentored by Josh and myself. But you're also going to see some massive talents, yeah. some guys who do haircuts you didn't even know that could be done, right? Um, and, and done in a way you didn't know that could be so simple, mm -hmm. right? And so easy to understand. Um, so the channel is going to showcase a lot of amazing talent, but it's also going to um, showcase a lot of other aspects because again we believe in balance we'll talk business we'll talk life as barbers being able to manage your time the journey. yeah the journey um, and then we're gonna share some amazing news with you guys mm -hmm. because we want to set an example as a company that you don't have to be just profit first mm -hmm. to be successful you could put value first you can care about the industry care about <coughs> the, the, the barbers who are Honestly, the barbers and stylists that that make it possible for a company to reach levels that it couldn't have before. And so we want to show that appreciation with a lot of value in this channel. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited about it. Again, we're going to drop as much content as possible um, for the first 30 to 45 days. And then we'll have some major announcements. Mm -hmm. So even if you don't like the, the, the content in the beginning, man, subscribe, pay attention, because in 30 to 45 days, we got some massive, massive announcements. Um, we're right now we are in uh, Istanbul um, and we're going to be spending a, a, about a couple weeks between here and London mm -hmm. um, putting in work guys and Josh moved to Tampa so Tampa I, I, I joke around but I'm, I'm serious in that I think Tampa is going to be the Silicon Valley of the barbering industry um, we've got some great talent that's moving down to be part of this to be part of this movement um, and so, you know, we'll have some dope merch and dope, mm -hmm. dope fashion. I don't want to get into everything, um, but just just stay tuned, guys. Just stay tuned. And uh, hopefully you guys subscribe and uh, share this with, with some barbers you think should be paying attention as well.
Anything else, guys, uh, bro? The only thing I'll add is, and I think I said this on a podcast recently, but when you, for exactly what you were saying about just subscribe, right? Because mm -hmm. people, when they look at what, what I do, what you do, whatever, but the, the phrase that I used was people look at the DFS formula, or at least what we've done so far, and they think that I'm like shouting, screaming, saying, pay attention to us, right? Mm -hmm. Like shouting at the top of my voice. Reality is, I haven't raised my voice yet. I Ooh, haven't even raised my voice. Come That's on. what's to come. Let's so, go. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right, y'all.